I can assure you, you have never seen an observation hive. And, and I'm sure you've seen observation hives, but not one, not one like this. Because what, how many observation hives you have seen latches on them? None. None. You know why? Because you never seen one like this. Yeah. Now check this one out when you open it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Taking a special field trip today into the St. Joseph Abbey Seminary to visit Jeff Horchoff, AKA Mr. Ed on YouTube. Put all that together because I suck. Jeff's been over my neck of the woods quite a few times as we've done videos together, but this is my first time over to the Abbey. Come check out the honey hut. I don't think he even knows we're coming, but I know he's still here and, and uh, I'll try to catch him before he leaves. Look at him. He's in the honey hut. What's up, Hollywood? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? Peacocks. Peacock. That's not a peacock. That's a monk. <laughs> That's a monk at chain. You got him tied up? <laughs> He's getting his lashes right there. Oh, man, that's rough, dude. Yeah, What's up, me. brother? <laughs> Really good to see you. That's a real surprise. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in here, man. Look, look. This, this is, is the big. way. This is the way a, a, a honey house is supposed to look, not a Randy honey house. This is the way it's supposed to look. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where's all the dirt? They ain't none, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got we got a back porch too. This is, this is where I feed them, is back here. And that's, that's my volunteer little swarm. They, they moved in uh, probably about, oh, it's gotta be two months ago now. They, they were four frame when they moved in. Now they're, they're 10 frame. I know that I got an ad box for those guys. Are you extracting right now? I'm finished. All this stuff. That's I mean, we, we had all the honey. Is that what you've been doing? Yeah, the honey actually, we brought all the honey over to the gift shop today, and uh, we probably sold at least 400 bottles. Wow. Today. today. Golly, man. Yeah, I mean, they, they had people he in there. He must have a line of people. <laughs> and they were, they were buying like five of them at a the time. Well, it's raining. Let's, let's go ahead and open this box. <laughs> That's a good time. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, need your help. <laughs> <laughs> This, I'm telling you, man, it's a, it, it's nice setup. It is nice out here. Golly, nice place. And then, and then we, you can see some of our hives are, are right through the woods on the other side of the fence right there. You can see some of the boxes okay. right over there. We'll walk over there. I'll show you those. When it comes off the uncapper, um, it's one of the Dakota uncapper, so it's a chain uncapper as opposed to a yeah. knife uncapper. And so you can you can grow two two frames at a time. It uncaps the top, the bottom. And it comes out on this side, you have your controls right here for your conveyor. Your motor's always running, and your conveyor, you just turn it on and off. And, uh, and from there, you just throw it up into your, your, your extractor right here. 48 frame, but this one's not going to be big enough. I'm going to need another one of these. When I, by the time I get the other ones going, I, I, so we'll, we'll run one extractor, process another 48 frames, fill up the other extractor. And as this one's running and it's pumping, it's going to be pumping. Here's my, my hose right here. It pumps right now. We pumped it into into this um, big old colander thing. Huh. And and uh, it, the the sludge, the wax, and all that stuff goes in there, and it, it percolates through. It takes too much time, so that's why I need to separate it. Yeah. And then it goes into our our little 200 gallon uh, honey tank. Mm -hmm. And then from there. It's, it's basically, it's filtered already. It's, there's very little filling because the, the wax separates so, yeah, and comes up to the top. Up. And um, the line, you can still see where the line was on this one. Well, it's, it's right, a, 
It's right on, right below that 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 stainless line right here. It's somewhere yeah. right here. here. It is right. Here's the line right here. This is what we had the tank filled to at that point. That was seventy or well, eighty gallons is what that one was. Huh. And, uh, and it, after that, I just took my my little cheap old filter right here, put it on my bucket, opened up the gate. This this is some of the cappings that that were that I, I after I cleaned out that tank. This was this was the cappings that I took out of that tank. We got we got uh, on on December seventh, which is the feast day of St. Ambrose, which is the St. Ambrose Honey House. We'll have all the sponsors, the people that donate. They'll come in. We do a honey tasting, and this is the honey that I've already got for this year to um, for our, our tasting, and, and it comes from all over the world, all over the world. Is this yes. just people sending it in for yeah, you? Yeah, people, people um, bring it to us, give it to us. And, and uh, uh, people, when they go on vacation, they'll go get it. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's some France, Germany, uh, Holland, uh, 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 what is that, um, Budapest. I mean, it, it, comes, it comes from all over. Italy, huh. uh, there's one in Saudi Arabia. It is, it's so cool. And then, uh, of course, from around the, the United States, where people go on trips, that one came from Pennsylvania. Bumbleberry Farms. That's a nice bottle. That it is. I like that. And then the, the, this is Alaska, the fireweed honey. Some of these honeys are infused. Uh, I know this is a, an infused honey with the uh, fireweed oil, mm -hmm. and some of those from uh, Europe are infused honey, like the uh, lavender and some of the other ones. But now this this honey from uh, Saudi Arabia. This stuff, this is acacia honey. And this stuff is already like four years old and it, it will not crystallize, this stuff. Huh. It will not crystallize. That's interesting. It, it's got to be something in the, in the acacia that, that won't allow, but I've done nothing to that and that's four years old and it still flows. Uh, I've got some sourwood honey that Ditch Doc on YouTube sent me and it's, it's been a year or two ago and it's, it hadn't crystallized at all. And, and it's sourwood, huh? It's sourwood. It's uh, cut out. This this was the uh, the what was that one called? Um, you want some uh, bees with your orange juice? That was from this. That, boy, and there's some good stuff right here. <laughs> uh, this was the first cutout I did in February. Um, the bees in Lacombe. February this year. February. Uh, all this is this year's honey. Okay. Um, this is the one. The 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 popcorn. The the pop, Jiffy Pop popcorn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's this one right That's here. a recent one. Yeah, that's the only few weeks. Uh, this this one is uh, Ridge, I it's that. bees in the in the rafter one. And so this is probably a couple months old right here. Uh, this one was the the um, uh, the bees in the wall. It was in Jefferson. Uh, that another one. Wreck it, Ralph and I had done. Uh, I don't have a name on that. This is a. This one looks like. Cairo syrup almost. I think that was from Italy. Maybe. Romania. Okay, see? Italy, <laughs> Romania, it's someplace over there. Actually, it's an egg that this little bee right here laid. <laughs> this one, this one is uh, Ralph and I, we did a, uh, oh man, I, I know the house, I don't know what the video was called. And these are, these are actually the, uh, our Russian bees that, that got, were, were killed, that, that the honey actually got whipped, and so it's still in this, Form of, of whipped honey. Uh, that's, so all this is going to be tasted in, in, in December. All this stuff we have our little sticks and we put them in little containers and everybody tastes it. And we get people will actually make um, honey dishes. So we have a big party. <laughs> we have a big party on the feast. Of well, it's a nice dishes. setup. The only thing I'm curious about is why you have a queen excluder in the floor. Well, you think, you think that's is that, all? Yeah. Is that you, to keep your bees from escaping while you... <laughs> this is the small queen excluder. That's the big queen excluder over there. <laughs> 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 you should have like that. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I didn't observe it very long either. <laughs> Not like you're backing off. <laughs> but that thing is getting me! <laughs> Yeah, 
Why do you think that we've been in here so long? Shag condition. I gave a speech the other night about the observation hive. It's got a couple boxes around here. This is this is a. Look at these boxes here. What are these? Herns. <laughs> 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 Nobody had even said. This you is did a, say ow. open it and look at it. This you is a place go. where they make coffins. You don't open boxes in here. I'm watching you not want to touch the urn. I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> you got good. Did I get you? <laughs> you got me. I knew, I knew something was coming. I just didn't know what. That's a Mr. Ed observation hog. <laughs>